Hi, welcome to another one of Boss Technical Service videos. In today's video, we want to describe how to install the Plowshoe Option Kit on a DXT snowplow. Now, early versions of the DXT blades that were released in early 2013 did not have all of the holes necessary to mount this kit. After that, the holes will be included in the blade when you purchase it. But for now, what we want to discuss in today's video is how do you drill those holes to get this bracketry on the blade so that you can install your Plowshoe Option Kit. Before we get started on this procedure, I want to discuss the safety aspects of what you should be following when doing this. As you'll notice, I'm wearing safety glasses, I have ear protection, I'm wearing protective gloves, and I've got steel-toed shoes. Please put on your PPE. We want you to be safe while doing this. There will be the chips uh, during the drilling procedure. These are heavy items. You want to be protected. Now, you'll notice how I have the blade sitting face down on a pallet right now. The very first step in the installation manual says, place plow blades on the ground face down. That is how we want you to install these plow shoes. The reason for this is this is the safest procedure for doing that. If the blade was fully assembled and in the upright position, you would have to get that blade up off the ground and we do not want anybody under the weight of that plow if necessary. So please follow these instructions, lay the blade face down for the installation of this plow shoe option kit. Now you'll notice I've taken the blade and I've got it up on a bench top that can support the weight of that blade half. I'm doing this for the instructional purposes of this video so that you can actually see much better what I'm gonna be doing for the install. Let's get started. These are the parts included in the plow shoe option kit. These are the tools you will need for the installation of the plow shoe option kit. In the backside of all the DXT blades, you will see these two holes for the mounting of the shoe bracket kit. But you'll also notice there is a cutout notched area. If you see this cutout notched area, you will have to go through the procedure of drilling the vertical holes in the bottom side of the bottom channel of the blade. If you do not see this cutout, that means the holes are all in place for the mounting of the, the plow shoe bracket. Now that you've got your DXD blade laying on the face like we say in the instructions, we're looking at the bottom half of this blade. The next step of the procedure is we want to install this bolt-on shoe gusset to the bottom side of our blade. Now like I said earlier, there are two holes that exist in the back side of the blade that align with the two holes in this gusset. But there are also two holes that will go vertically into the bottom of the blade that you're going to have to actually transfer and re-drill those holes. So we're simply going to be installing this bolt-on shoe gusset through the existing holes with the half-inch hardware. Now you're just going to be putting the nut on the bolt lightly because all we're simply going to be doing is using the bracket as a drill guide for drilling the two vertical bolts. Just like that, finger tight. Now, using a 27 64th transfer punch and a hammer, I'm simply going to transfer the holes into my bottom channel. Just like that. Next, we're gonna get the drill and we're gonna drill those out. After transfer punching my holes, I've drilled eighth inch pilot holes in the two transfer punch areas. Next, what I need to do is drill a clearance hole to accept my 3 a 16th bolt. So using an 11 30 seconds bit, I'm gonna just simply follow through those pilot holes, opening it up to 11 30 seconds. Next, using our 9 16 socket, we simply want to install the 3 8 self tappers through the holes that we just drilled, securing the gusset to the bottom of the blade. Next, we simply remove the two half-inch bolts that we're using, we were using to hold the gusset in place. And insert on the back of the blade our plow shoe bracket itself, reinserting the hardware that we just removed. Putting the nuts into position. torquing the fastener to spec.
So you'll notice when you open the plowshoe option kit for the DXTs, there's four plowshoes in there, which means you have two plowshoes per wing. We've already discussed how to mount the plowshoe bracket on the outer location. Next logical step is how to mount that plowshoe bracket to the inner location. It's a very similar procedure with the exception of the torsion spring that is in this inner location. We will have to take the torsion off of that, that torsion spring in order to get this gusset inside to align for the drilling of the holes. Let's watch as we go through the procedures for taking the torsion off and putting the gusset in position. First step in the procedure is simply straightening the cotter key that holds the pin in position or locks the pin in position. Withdrawing the, withdrawing the cotter key, removing the washer, Next, using a two inch piece of pipe or some type of a lever, I need to install this on the end of the spring so that I can take the tension off of the spring itself. As I'm taking the tension off, I simply remove the pin, which relaxes my torsion spring. Next, what we want to do is actually install our plowshoe gusset between the spring and the back channel of the blade, feeding it into position aligning the holes that exist, and using our half inch fat hardware to actually hold this bracket into position so that again, we can transfer punch our bottom holes and drill the holes for the self tappers. Transfer punching my holes. and then drilling through the bottom channel of my blade with my 11 30 seconds bit. And then doing the same procedure we did on the other side, we're simply installing our 3A self tappers in the pre-drill hole. Next, we want to simply remove the half inch hardware that we were using just to hold the bracket into position, just like we did on the other side. So before we actually remount the bracket to the outside of the blade, we have to retension our torsion spring. So we just do it in the reverse steps that we did to take the tension off. We simply put our, our pry bar or our pipe onto the end of the torsion spring itself. With our clevis pin in one hand, we put the tension on the spring, inserting, inserting the clevis pin through. Next, we install our washer. We insert our cotter pin bending the legs of the pin over, securing the pin into position. Next, we take the outer plowshoe bracket, position it on the back of the blade, aligning the holes, inserting our half inch hardware, Then we torque the hardware to spec. Throughout the shooting of this video, some of you may have noticed these bolts in the bottom of the base angle. The only reason those bolts are there is so that when we ship the DXT blade crates to you, the blade cannot actually move in transport. All right, so we use these half inch fasteners to lock that into position. When you're using the DXT blade, these bolts must be removed or else that base angle will not activate. So make sure before you sell this to the customer or before it's used in the field, these bolts get removed. 
So that outlines the basic steps it takes to put the bracketry on the back of your DXT blade. Now all you have to do is simply follow the exact same procedure for mounting the brackets on the opposite wing. That will give you the bracketry for mounting the actual four plow shoes onto the blade itself. So you've done all the hard parts, you put the brackets on the blades themselves. The easy part now is simply inserting the two plow shoes per wing that come in the kit. Now we get a lot of questions on what height should I put my plow shoes at. That's really personal preference. That's why we install all of these washers so that you can fine tune the actual height of your plow shoe, keeping the edge off the ground. So there's no perfect answer to what should I put my plow shoes at. It is personal preference and it depends a lot on the surface that you're plowing. Just like that. So we hope that this simple video better explains how to actually add the plow shoe option kit to your DXT snowplow. But as always, if you have any questions on any of these install, please call the tech service line below, email us, live chat, whatever you need to do. Have a good day.